I'm going to show you from start to finish how to cut up this crystal geyser water jug into a bottle for this uh, Android phone. This crystal geyser bottle is good because it lets the camera sit off the edge of the bottle and gives it enough space to see out. So I'm going to start by cutting it off. I know that my since my camera is going to be up here, I can really only get that much protection, probably only like to here or here. So I'm going to cut it off just right at this first corrugation of the bottle. I'm just going to pinch the bottle, cut into it, cut around. Now I have this piece ready for my phone. This will work pretty well. And I'm going to put my phone in diagonally to give the maximum amount of distance between the wall of the camera. That also allows me, on these thin plastic bottles, it's good to make my attachment point on the corner. The curve of the bottle helps make the attachment point stronger. So I'm going to cut into this corner, and I'm going to cut an attachment point on the opposite corner as well. Right there, and right here. Now my camera can feed in like this. And of course, I can turn on the screen and adjust the, the cut around the camera accordingly so that I don't get the bottle in the shot. But this should work pretty well because it's pretty far away from the camera lens. Now I'm going to make stabilizing wings out of this bottle. So now I have this whole bottom section. I'm going to make each wing just one corrugation. So I'm going to cut down a good bit of the bottle. top corrugation is kind of ratty, so I'm going to cut it off. Tape together like this, and then strap together out the back that. Do it really quickly before it's... Make a hole here on the corner. That way I'm aligning with my. Oh shit, that's it. I gotta go inside. Can't be working in the rain. Camera's in. I cut these two little slits in the corner for my uh, fins, and then I've 
taped this thing together, these two uh, strips of plastic together to form uh, wings, little uh, fins. And now I'm going to put them through here, reversing their curve as I set it through the plastic. I'm going to take the camera out to make it easier. Now especially this thin plastic, it's starting to tear a little bit around where uh, I'm starting to put the fins in. So I'm going to hold the sides in place with some tape. I'm just putting a piece of tape to hold the slits above and below them on the inside and outside. Now, these are totally lined up, I can tape them together. So I'm going to just tape them together, uh, pulling back off of the container. I'll try to make sure I get it really even. And I'll continue to line up the corners of the bottles as I tape them. Now at this point, these corners aren't really letting me get much farther back with uh, any particular symmetricality, so I'm just going to cut them here. They're pretty far anyways. There I have my tail. straight off the back. Next thing I'm going to do is make attachment points uh, front and back for the strings. Now since I've set up this whole housing on a diagonal, I'll continue that trend and put holes in the diagonal. So I'm going to grab the pointiest side of my scissors, look right along this diagonal, and puncture a hole right up near the lip of the bottle. One hole, 
and lining things up. Second hole. I'm going to cut two loops of string, each about 12 inches. The same length. have my two. Again, I'm going to make two even loops of the same size. Fold the string in half, cross it over, tuck it under in an overhand knot, push the overhand knot towards the tassel and not the loop end. Make one loop. Start the overhand knot on the next one. line it up while it's still loose with the first one by looping them both through the same finger and then pull both knots towards the end and keep working this knot until it's in the same place as the previous loops knot. So now I have two equal length loops. Then push them through the top of the hole, through the top of the bottle, and tuck, pull. One. Two. So now, put the camera back in. And hook it onto the two sides. And we're ready to fly. Flip this on to a. Uh, oh, that was bad. It's now we're ready to fly. You can clip these two together. It's already steadying itself into the wind.